beautiful day out here. I was gonna go to the 500 yard area, but I was like, this is so nice right here. That's 235 yards down there. Let's see. There's my target. So, let's see if we can hit it from there, from here. Okay, I'm out here. I guess this, this isn't the world record attempt, but I'm gonna try to do 500 yards here with this here gun. This is the Silver Eagle SC-122 Tactical. It's a smooth bore. Uh, I know Jerry Michalak, he did what? I think 342 yards the other day. So this is 235 yards. Uh, I'll put in a video clip there, zoomed in. There's a target up there. I mean, it's a pretty small target. It's the one I always use, so it's probably less than 12 inches wide, probably. 14 inches tall, maybe. Maybe 10 by 14, maybe. I'll have to check. So, so this is a smooth bore shotgun. There's no rifling in it. And the slugs we're going to be using, I got a whole pile of them here. We got some three inch Federals. Uh, uh, one and a quarter ounce slug, 1600 feet a second. And I got some Remington sluggers, some more to two and three quarter. These are 610 feet a second, or one ounce slug. Okay, so these here, the Remingtons, they say at uh, 100 yards, they drop nine inches, which I don't think that's right, but maybe. I mean, they would probably know. So I'm going to say calculations 235 69 inches high i gotta hold yeah it's pretty far out there i i think i can do that for sure so i like i was running out of daytime so i'm just gonna try this today and then hopefully sometime soon if this works good i'll do the 500 they usually just do it right over the hill there but i was running out of time so let me get loaded up and we'll just see what happens Okay, one thing good about these Silver Eagles, they have like a AR style sight, so you can actually crank this up here too. So I'm going to try that and try it. Let's see what happens. These are three inch slugs. Whenever I had this gun, or I had it for a long time, when I first got it, I mean, uh, it always cycled two and three quarter shells. I don't think it ever jammed, but with a three inch, sometimes it did jam. But I shot it a lot since then, so we'll see. We'll see, if, we'll see if it jams here, too. Oh. Okay, maybe just got the... The windage, I don't know if you've seen that, was perfect. Elevation, it was definitely freaking low. It didn't... It, like, ejected... I don't know if I bumped something. It didn't chamber there. Let's try it again. It did chamber this time. All right, so that was good windage. Elevation now, uh -uh. <laughs> Almost got it. But yeah, look, see, it's not cycling these three inches. Uh, the mag might have just been a little too deep. Almost got that, though. It was right under it. Oh, I know what it is. I'm pushing down on this magazine. It's pushing up in here too hard. All right, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. That's what it is. The magazine's getting pushed up in there too far. <laughs> Almost. It was so close. Yeah, you definitely got to aim high though. That 500 yards gonna be gonna be hard. See, I don't know. It doesn't like the three-inch shells that much. Almost hit that thing. All right. Oh, I'm dancing around that thing. Oh god, it's so close. It is so close. I think I got her dialed in now. Let me try something. Okay, I got her loaded back up here. I totally forgot that was the windage knob. Thank god like I had it back to where it was. I think it's good. I don't know. Anyway, I totally forgot the elevation sights on the back. 
So I got that cranked up. And there's, there's some marks on there too. So let's just try it. I put my small mag in here to see if it works any better this way. Got this site cranked the whole way up, brother. Cycled that time. Yeah, she's far. Okay, so that's too far. It's pulling to the right now. Let me try something. Okay, moved her a couple clicks back over. She, it's up as far as it'll go. Let's try again. I got her dialed in now. I hit a little bit high to the right there. So let me move this over here. I think that's got Let me reload and make sure I'm doing this right. All right, I got my sights dialed in, I think. Got uh, three more loaded in here. I think I can get it this time. Let's try it. I'm on you now, baby. <laughs> I'm drilling like hole for hole up there. Okay, I'm still hitting to the right a little bit. Let me try. try that a couple clicks more turn this thing into a sniper shotgun right above her I don't know where that one hit I couldn't didn't see any dirt fly I, don't know if I, got, I mean, I think you would hear a slug hitting that metal from here. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Yup. She went down too on that one. There it is. 235 yards with uh, a jeep again too. So, yeah. This gun works amazing with two and three quarter inch with three inch slugs this seems to happen pretty often i never tried like just three inch like turkey loads i always just shoot like slugs so let's just ignore that for for a minute maybe i'll pull, pull out some two and three quarter you can see how good they work but uh smooth barrel it, you know, there's no rifling there's no rifling in there and that's just hitting i just drilled I mean, it was hitting like hole for hole there. Tip for tap. I have to try to 500 yard again. That kind of sucks that fell over because that's a pretty far walk. It's pretty muddy through there too. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty pumped for the 500, but man, that did drop pretty far there. I was, the sights were cranked the whole way up. <laughs> and I was holding, I was holding pretty far on top of that thing, so. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, so you can see the ram all the way over there. There's a far, far shot. Here's one hit there. One hit there. Might be fucking the grass up a little bit, huh? Target's up there. <laughs> like I said, a couple hit there. One hit right there. I was putting them in so close. I don't think the windage was too far off. I just think the angle. <clears throat> it looked like it was hitting to the right. But I just think it was just the angle. So 
I think we'll flip this over. I'm really, I don't know why I just don't bring some paint with me. No clue where it hit. Definitely hit, she went over. Gong. Hmm. Well, there it is. 235 yards. And we'll be doing a 500 yard here. Uh, maybe next week. I don't know. Hopefully, as soon as I can. Beautiful day out, though. So, like I said, this is uphill, too. Which, before, when I did the snub nose, it was downhill. Which helps a lot. Because trying to shoot from there up the hill, you got to aim higher, too. So, my other spot. It's kind of hard here. Because... There's so many hills and turns, it's hard to get 500 yards anywhere without being a hill. And everything's so grown up too anymore. <clears throat> we actually have a 500 yard actual shooting range right here, but uh, it's kind of hard to use. It's not very nice. It's grown up too. And actually, just I like shooting from the top of the truck there, it gives you a little bit more. I think it's like seven foot to the top of the truck, so it gives you a little bit more, more to work with there. So yeah, hopefully next week I will uh, try to 500. He said Jerry did 342 the last week or something, which is incredible. But yeah, yeah, his he had like a gold plated shotgun and everything. So I'm just out here with a freaking Silver Eagle blast and crap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Check it out, storm cloud rolling through over there. It's always so cool when you can see it rain somewhere else. So yeah, that's kind of what happened with the, the three inch slugs. There's like so much plastic on the end. That it was just kind of jamming in there. It's kind of like the chamber. As you can see, it's like, it doesn't really fit. <laughs> yeah, this is too big. So like I said, I always shoot the two and three quarter and I never had a problem with them. I don't know, whatever.